Hi, I'm Carrie Marco, December 2012 cover girl for ZTO TV. Thank you for watching Zombie Takeover Television. Are these all all the hate mail? No, they're no. not all hate mail. Okay, it's just letters from the viewers. All right. Well, one one of them though, when my wrong came with in a in an envelope that was unmarked that had a white powder. Actually, this is uh, just I I I wrote out uh, an email uh -huh. and a video accompanied that email. Okay. And uh, yeah, go ahead. So this is you, you wrote this. This was this came into the station as an email. <clears throat> Salutations, McGuffey, or should I say, Randall. I'm not going to beat around the bush about this. I am your ne nemesis. I recall you from your days at USV and always thought you were a rather smug asshole. <laughs> I will never forgive you for your sarcastic attitude about life. I also will never reveal my true identity and you can expect many more videos and letters in the future. As you have taken the moniker of Ray McGuff, I have taken the title of Minister Alger after my hometown of Alger, Ohio. Ever heard of Alger, Ohio? Do you remember Alger, Ohio? I remember your apartment in Alger, Ohio. <laughs> I would watch you through the window. See you soon, Minister Alger. <laughs> Please play the video now. Oh, boy. Now, this is pretty awful, Randy. Okay. Well, if it's too bad, we can I mean, we can only show certain parts later, but... <laughs> Hello, Randy. Do you know who this is? It is horrifying. Randy. <laughs> this is your nemesis. <laughs> I cannot fucking stand you. <laughs> This seems like an awful lot of to go through to hate me. <laughs> In this case, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that he got the second character. Oh no! What's this now? It doesn't cost oh, much, come on. but this it's the fucking action. No, 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 no. He wants you to see his penis. Think about no. it. This could be your face, Ray. This is wrong. He's gonna fuck your mind, I think. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> This horror, what a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a trauma movie. <laughs> oh, God. God. It burns so bad. <laughs> oh, 
God, there's fucking blood in it. <laughs> oh, no, my head it smells like almonds. It smells like a fucking almond joy in here. This, oh, this piss burns. Oh, what is oh, that? Oh, man. <laughs> this is, this is wrong. <laughs> can't be real. You are a degenerate, <laughs> sir. You are a goddamn degenerate. Wow. Yeah. Okay. How you well, like that? That was just insane. I'm frightened. Uh, I think he attached a baby arm to his genitalia. I, uh, I thought I might let you in on a little secret. I am going Is there to in disassemble you. I can't tell. It you probably like see it off of his reflection if or something if you could. Destroy your psyche and physically end you with my strong body. <laughs> you definitely see the person, person that's videotaping <laughs> and, and the skull. Show. Wow. Oh, wow, he's high tech. I put this together in your honor. Most people have a flash right now, asshole. Let's see how well you are moving. Where'd go with your view master? View master. Randy. That's what I'm gonna call him. Whoa, whoa. You don't remember that? <laughs> what was I? I had fighting naked in an underground fight club? Oh, I fighting if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> now that's not funny. <laughs> we, I remember this thing. Wow. We were just sitting there, we were having a few drinks. <laughs> You know, we were all like, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, wow. Well, <laughs> that, that was Vietnam. Did you see this? That was Vietnam. So That's that was, definitely yes. not a kid's show in the background. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that was me when I was on Broadway. Artistic. <laughs> yeah, composed. The glasses are somehow behind <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, you know, those, were, uh, those were all you know, pictures that were... Of, of memory lane. It was memory lane for me. Except for the one with the guy with the fucking truck. Or drink, <laughs> did you know. drink too much that night? No, I didn't drink enough, apparently. <laughs> to let somebody have pictures. Of... <laughs> but, you know, that's Minister Alger. He gets he gets under your skin. He's trying to, uh, you know, crush my mind. He's trying to take you down or something. He's trying to take me down. I don't know. Down to China, China, China. Chinatown. 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 Take you down to Chinatown. Is my pride and joy, and I want eighty dollars for this right off the bat. This is Rambo. Yeah, an actual Rambo. Rambo, Rambo. What the fuck? They got the compass in there too. It's a compass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Oh. It's got a flint, mm -hmm. so you can sharpen it. Uh, Makes it sparks. It, well, you, yeah, you could, you could in theory. And inside it opens. Yeah, there's fishing line. You can hide. You can hide your bullets in there. What, what else could you put in there? I'll take this one <laughs> well, well, yeah, what goes in there? An official line goes in there. That's for safety. What else would you need? Oh, camping around, man. I'm going to go camping right now. What the hell's wrong with you? I want to sell this. All right. All right. How much are we, we selling this? Before? I said $80. And I, I, I can show you real quick, too. Blade is still sharp. Still sharp. Still sharp, is it? Yeah. So, $80 for that. Okay, I'm gonna set that down. Now, this this is a smaller item. I want ten dollars for it. It's a Zippo I got uh, for free at a Camel Camel uh, cigarettes. We're doing a promotion. I got them free. I think it's worth ten dollars. It's never been used. I don't smoke cigarettes. Yeah, right. 
Oh, you got, you got Zippo flood in there too? Uh, no, there's no. You have to get your own fluids, so and I don't provide any of that. <laughs> uh, just the lay it open, ready for a good fire and good camping trip right now. Well, we, we would be ready. I mean, all right. We've got a road atlas. We've got a Rambo knife. We've got. We'll see, we'll see what the potential with that. ladder fluid to make fire. So you're, you're right. We could go camping, but I just want this ten dollars. We're not getting lost, but. Okay. We're going to go to another commercial, guys. Yeah, another commercial? I've only got one more item. <laughs> oh, I think we need a commercial break right now. Okay, okay, boy. Right now? You need a commercial, go. Sorry for offending you, Mike. No, no, it's fine. This is a yeah. keychain where the metal part broke off. And so you, you can't put it on a keychain, but the light does still light up. Okay. Shine it in my eyes. Shine it in my eyes. Shine into your eyes. Yeah. Well, it's not very bright because the battery's about dead. But that's what I'm saying. You can replace the battery. I'd take $5 for that. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, if I was shining it, I'm sure it would show up quite a bit on your shirt. I like it. It's face. What the police use when they have them on the You can stick that on that knife there. You just sell it really well, I don't want, these are separate items. They do not come together. Uh, they do not come together. Now you can buy them as a package. I'd sell all this stuff to somebody for $150. 150 flat, all yours. That's a good buy. That's a good, that's a Thank you, buy. sir. But cameraman knows what's up. Okay. Uh, anyway, so those are out. I think we'll take some calls. From okay. We'll see what we got. Good man. Maybe somebody will, will want to buy one of these items here. Yeah, 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 I hear it. Yeah. Alright. Let's take a couple of calls. Uh, any of these are a bargain. Next item. We got a high pressure hose here. Now this this is rated, believe it or not, this is rated for 500 PSI. Okay, if you're running some sort of um, you know, aquarium type chemical through this, and you, you know, you need to maintain a really high PSI. This is the hose for you. Okay, this is your, this is your, you know, this is the best thing that money can buy right now. Okay? Now, what you can do with this is you hook it on the end of your pump here. Mr. Styles, we can't have that on this show. Okay? The CEO of this company says we don't need any more of this, okay? I need to take that from you. Okay. If you refrain yourself from this, I appreciate it. Thank you. Back to the item. Um, again, hose, five, 500 PSI. All right, we're selling this. This is this is a special right now, okay? All right. We started off QVC, you know, in, in $5 million. I swear to you. NASA, okay? $5 million. All right. It's not going to be four. It's not going to be three. All right. Two easy payments of $29.95. And this is yours. Two easy payments of $29.95. And the hose is yours. You're going to get that shit sold quick. Okay. You want some salt water in that? Um, yes, yes, it's made it's made for all, all kinds of water. Salt. Um, otherwise, you know, if you're uh, cleansing your aquarium with, with uh, special special chemicals, you know, very special chemicals, you can you know run anything through it. Literally anything. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna move on. This is another high pressure hose, but this one. Um, we seem to be miss, missing an item. Malfunction, um, malfunction. There is something, something wrong. 
I'm sorry, Mr. Styles. We're not authorized to allow you to have any commercials this week. Um, we had dead since last week, so uh, we just gotta keep continuing to roll. What's up, kick? Fucking ninja turtle. Mr. Styles. Mr. Styles. Ah! I'm gonna call security. Ah! Styles. Aluma, come on. Call, call security. Call security. Call security. He's out of control. Call security. Oh my. Alright, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I'll, 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 I got some, I got some, that's all good. Hell! Mr. Styles. It's a turtle! Mr. Cook, Mr. Cook, could you please calm down Mr. Styles? Okay, um... Thank you. We... Thank you. First of all, this, this solvent we sell is, is human safe. Human safe for consumption, I don't want to get any bad ideas here. All right, this this solvent we sell it is perfectly safe for human consumption. It is meant to um, dissolve and clean your aquarium. You know, such things as as algae, it will kill. It's, it's perfectly all right for your fish. Okay, and and humans, it's fine. No negative side effects. We have a uh, bag here. We're gonna sell. This is a uh, high quality s s cleaning solvent. All right, we're selling this. We're selling this again. You would think. <laughs> High quality solvent. Wow, that's a large quantity. That's going to get your cleaning job done perfectly. All right, now you think that's a lot. You would say, what would you say? How much? What would you say? Ballpark, come on, you need a ballpark. I think that's crystal meth. Sir. I think he's a cook. Sir. I think he Sir. cooks crystal meth. Look at it. Sir. God. Security. Security. <laughs> We're in our control situation. Ah! What? Ah! What? <laughs> ah! the camera's off. What? Uh, this this segment, anyways, is called Ray Pitches Movie Ideas to Elijah. All right. I'm like a critic. So, Elijah, I've been thinking a lot about making a couple of films. Here's my first idea. It's reboots are popular. Reimaginings, uh, redos, if you will, um, of 80s films. And one of my all time favorite 80s trilogy of films is The Karate Kid. And I have an idea for a prequel to The Karate Kid. We could reboot the whole franchise, and it's all, you could call it The Legacy of the Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi origin story, however you want to title it. But it's his origin story. It starts during World War II. In the uh, internment camps, uh, Japanese prisoners were taken. Uh, you know, they, they were citizens, but they felt after the attack of Pearl Harbor that they should be put into these internment camps until the war was over because they couldn't tell who was on our side. And so Miyagi is in one of these camps, and his friend from Part Two, uh, Karate Kid Part Two, Soto, Salto, is there, uh -huh. and they both fall in love with the same woman. And Miyagi agrees to join the army so that, or the, the special airborne forces, uh, so that they'll release the, his girlfriend and her family back to Okinawa. And so, Sato refuses to go, Miyagi goes, and the whole story centers about him getting shot down. Because if you remember in the first Rock Karate Kid, he, he fucking cries in one scene and passes out. And it's and Daniel goes through his shit and finds out that he was a World War II fighter pilot. It's, and I looked it up. It was an actual Japanese regiment um, made up of Japanese American soldiers. I forget the name of it, but it had a special name. So my idea is that he gets shot down behind enemy lines, crashes in, uh, you know, in in Germany, and has to come. He doesn't have any weapons and has to karate fight his way back to a forward operating base. Okay. What you do you know, think? I think... I think it's a terrible idea. 
What? It is. Why? You, you, you gotta understand people's movie going nowadays. You know they want they want action. You know they want they want love. They want they they want something all... that's 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 gonna be confusing. Like movie I was thinking about. I mean, what if we follow this dude in corporate America? He's, he's like an insomniac, right? Okay, and you know he he doesn't sleep much, and so to try to get him to sleep, you know maybe maybe he'll go. Somewhere like I don't know, like places for uh, survivors, you know, like cancer survivors or or like you know brain tr- trauma people or just people got shot or something. I don't know. Just you know, and while he's there, he's he's happy. Everything's going good. That's everything's going good. Then he some girls is in there, and everywhere he goes, she, she's there. Elijah, you know? I hate and, to interrupt you. This is this is Fight Club. You're describing Fight Club, the movie Fight Club. I'm talking about original movie ideas here, not just. You know that wasn't original. Fucking white people take everything. That's that's all I know. Okay, <laughs> that that should have been mine. But 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 I understand where you're coming from now. I understand. All right, all right, fine. So you didn't like the Karate Kid prequel. How about this? You take the Goonies, all right, and you set it in Detroit. Okay, so the inner city of Detroit, and you. Uh, flip it and make it like they're looking for some, uh, you know, money stash or something from local crime syndicate, like guy that died, and it's, so it's just a bunch of kids, kind of like if you took bad or not bad boys, if you took uh, shit, what's the name of that movie, Boys in the Hood, when they're the kids part of it and mixed it with the Goonies and set it in Detroit. Mm-hmm. That sounds familiar, but no, no, no. I don't. I, I don't think they'd make a movie like that. That 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 sounds stupid too. Why not? Why would they make a movie like that? That's like, I told you, man. You know, you you talking about like a what like a little mystery movie? You know, this yeah. this is a kind of mystery. Like, what if you have this dude, you know, and all of a sudden he just wakes up in his hotel room, right? You know, and he doesn't know where he's at. He doesn't know what he's doing or anything like that. And he's going places and people just looking at him nice and everything like that, like nodding to him, you know, like he's some kind of boss or something, you know. And, and he's he's trying to figure out and he goes down and the the hotel lady is telling him he's made all these calls and stuff like that while, while he was sleeping. No, that just doesn't even sound Elijah, right. You know, that, Elijah, that's Fight that, Club again. That, you can't, everything can't be Fight Club. What do you mean? You're, you're, t- you're describing Fight Club, a scene for Fight Club again. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking about you know it, original ideas. For, first, white people take the land, and then they gonna take my ideas, man. This, <laughs> well, I mean, I, I guess I, I've only seen that movie once, so I, I don't know. But I'm gonna take your word for it. Must be burned into your subconscious. Then. All right, uh, fine. Uh, how about how about a love story? Okay. Okay. Uh, two people meet in uh, a cafe every day. Guy goes in every day to have his lunch. Maybe work. Maybe he's an office worker, and he falls in love with this waitress. And uh, you find out that she's in in the country illegally, and she was brought here as a sex slave. And okay. they make her do this job for for tax purposes, and she needs help. And the guy gets way too deep, and tries to save her life and and his. By the end of the film. Okay. No. No. Hey. hey you know what? No. I- Yeah, you know what? That that sucks too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. You know this? It's it's just not captivating. You know, right. I watch a lot of movies. I memorize. I'm, I'm good at. It. You know, I, I know what they like. I mean, you want to do a love story? Let's let's make it a little edgy. You know, let's let's have the dude. And How? He's with he's with the girl. Or he's he's he doesn't even know he likes a girl yet because she annoys him and stuff like that. And then, you know, out of the blue, one day, you know, she calls. And why she called? Because I guess she took a whole bunch of medicine, and you know she's she's thinking about you know dying, and he's not wanting to go over there, but subconsciously, you know he does. He goes over there, and and he he has to get her. Police are coming and stuff like that. They gotta hide out for a second, tell her they're in a different room and stuff like that. You know, I think I think we'll call call the girl Marla or something like that. You know, this is Fight Club again. Th- You're talking about Fight Club again. That can't be Fight. It is Fight Club. This is an original <laughs> idea. It's not an original this, idea. I've seen I, Fight Club. I like just came up times. with this. This was on a fly. I just came up. This is not Fight Club. All right, fine, fine. Let's let's flip it here for a second, okay? 
Thank you, you tell me something that you would want to go see, and I'll riff on it. How about we go watch like a, an action film? Let's let's do that, okay? Okay. You know, guys is bored with his life, man. You know, he loses everything. He's he's down and out, and he's just. He wants to start, you know, he wants to start a group, you know. And in the group, you know, these people, they, you know, they, they do like mixed martial arts. They, maybe they do some boxes and stuff like that. They, they usually do like basements or something, like basements of bars <laughs> or things like that, you know. And, and then it just keeps growing. And, and they're not supposed to tell people, but all of a sudden it just keeps growing and keeps growing, you know. So, you know so the first rule you're saying is uh, you're not supposed to talk about it. No. No, no, you're not. Oh, no. You're not supposed to talk about it oh, whatsoever. Okay. But people keep doing it, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Okay. Okay. Let's see. You, you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, this yeah, this would be a good movie. I get and it. And then you know, and, and then all of a sudden, just to throw people off, we're gonna get this big dude in there, and he's gonna have tits. Okay. He's what, he's gonna have tits. Would from you a, say these tits are bitch like? Yeah, I don't. I don't like to use bitch lightly, but yeah, yeah, I guess they could be yes. bitch like. It could be bitch like yeah, tits, yeah. okay? You're fucking and, talking about Fight Club again. <laughs> this, Bob has bitch tits. Come on. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds familiar. Right? Yeah, it, it does, doesn't it? I don't know. See, now i got to go rent the movie. You should rent it and watch it, maybe. And then I'm suing somebody for taking my ideas. <laughs> you should. This these, is bullshit. If these have all been your ideas for, I don't know, close to 15 years now, then yes, you probably should. Maybe maybe one has been from today, but yeah, <laughs> I, I've had these right now. I'm, okay. I'm calling somebody. I'm calling you know. them up. Well, I think that's about it for this uh, this segment. This is bullshit. Yeah, this is another another thing in the many things that the white man has taken. I don't even know how they got in my head. <laughs> maybe I'm asleep. Yeah, maybe I'm asleep. <laughs> I think they've been talking to my alter ego. You know, I had an alter ego. No. Yeah, yeah. Call him Tyler. Tyler. Yep. Tyler Diggs. Tyler Diggs. And Tyler I, Diggs. On that note. Coming soon to BET, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the new Elijah Bennett produced and Tyler Perry directed yep. version of Fight Club. This has been is, no, it's not. Oh no, it's, it's not. It's, it's completely different. It's, and, and look, they even kind of stole the title Fight Club. Mine's Fight Group. Okay, <laughs> Fight Group. All right, coming soon to to, to that channel, Fight Group. <laughs> oh boy. Hi, this is Scott Reisner with the Scott Reisner Program. I'm riding a scooter, and you're watching Zombie Takeover TV. <laughs> um, this is me, Scott, the Mormon. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Brother Reisner. It's Brother Reisner! And we have pamphlets to hand out. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I didn't fade. Mormon Guide to Overcoming Masturbation. I'm just going to read a few of the guidelines. Never touch the intimate parts of your body except during normal toilet procedures. This is real. Avoid being alone as much as possible. Find good company and stay in this good company. Did I tell you that this is real? This is real literature. If you're associated with other persons having the same problem, you must break off their friendship in all caps. When you bathe, do not admire yourself in the mirror. Never stay in the bath more than five or six minutes. Just long enough to bathe and dry and dress and then get out of the bathroom. No. When in bed, if that is where you have your problem for the most part, dress yourself for the night so securely that you cannot easily touch your vital parts and so that it would be difficult and time consuming for you to remove those clothing. So you just put on so much tight clothing by the time you undress to masturbate you're like I don't want to do it anymore. I'm bored. Oh, just ridiculous. This is ridiculous literature but we handed it out. Gotta make sure we protect everyone. Protection is the key. 
used to call me baby I thought she was such a lady Everybody, we you poop out of Are you unpopular? The answer to all your questions are in this little bottle. Well, actually, it's not this one. Are in this little bottle. Vitamin and Vegemite. Vitamin and Vegemite contains vitamins. Meat, vegetables, and minerals. about North Town. It's the trouble I can get myself into. Just got off of work. Just got that government money. Spending money time on alcohol. And not in America, because I'm not Canadian. Canadia! Canadia! That's what it's about.
Yeah. You know, I love being gay, man. Like watching the Golden Girls, listening to Cher's Believe, like wearing an extra small T-shirt. I mean, that's what I thought. And then come to find out, I'm like, I'm supposed to do what? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you're gonna hear this from your woman. Starts out with, I had a dream segue into some uninteresting middle part that you're probably not paying attention to. And ultimately ends in, you did something in this dream. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I had a dream that you were jealous and have stupid fucking dreams that don't make any goddamn sense. Seems like I have the same dream every night. And you don't hear me complaining. <laughs> I'm having, uh, having a hard time with the ladies. If there's any single ladies in here tonight, let's say I'm a good candidate for... <laughs> I'm a good candidate for just intercourse, nothing else. I don't want to. I don't care about your feelings or anything that you're doing. No offense. Just now, I'm, oh, I know, I'm getting sad faces all over. Oh, God, he's awful. Let's be real for a second here, okay? As soon as it happened, I was listening to the Russ Bellevue show because it was the only thing I could think of that had live coverage yeah. of it. And uh, I was as soon as I heard, I just heard people screaming in, on the show. So I come <laughs> running in the room, and sure enough, they had passed it. And I was trying to type a status update to tell it, to tell it, and I was shaking so so fucking bad. It was unbelievable. Well, like you said to me on, on, on Facebook, you were I am in me. You're like I am shaking and I am in tears, dude. Yeah, it, it was just unbelievable. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, I was the same way, man. I was I collapsed. I mean, literally, we couldn't. Like I've never in my life had the moment of where pure joy of that. Yeah, has ever happened to me, man. I mean, you know, you can't work at a convenience store because of this, or you can't work this because of this. It's stupid. It makes yeah, no yeah. sense. It's and a drawback no, on that. society, we'll and uh, you know, we'll and, and so to be excited for this to happen we'll is almost we'll like we'll it should have we'll never so even bad. been in this we'll state we'll of uh, we'll where it was we'll at, and it feels we'll like we're getting it back as opposed to we're getting it. I mean, not yeah, even. Well, I mean, it was just uh, the problem with prohibition. The way that prohibition happened was that. You know, I mean, it, it started and people were like, okay, it's a good thing and they can't be wrong. Or yeah. the things that they were told, you know, it can be wrong. And it's, 
The I experience it every day, man. I get to, it was embedded into their minds. Minds. Yeah, it was minds. Yeah, it was embedded into their minds that, you know, marijuana is bad, and they didn't question it. It was just, okay, it's bad. You know, you're a bad person for doing it. Not even 20 years. I did convince my grandmother, so yes, I'm 64. So, I mean, nice. I, so I sat down and I talked to her, and I think I got through to her a little bit. I mean, that's what I mean. That's you. Good, good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's talk about this last show we had with Tim Martin here. Jesus Christ, you hijacking motherfucker. <laughs> Osama Chen Laden over you there. You told me the dude wouldn't be all like, what's up, man, dude? What are you yeah, talking about? He was so slow and I don't burnt. know. How, how dare you? He was a really good guest that came he on and did our show. He was a good guest, but he, it just seemed like it was going on. No, no. He had a lot of information that you should have <clears> fucking <throat> shut up and listened to. You had statements like... Man, this, this I knew this plant was so beneficial. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so many things. I mean, it, it has so many uses and so many, so many uses and so many. <laughs> You're telling an activist that uh, marijuana has so many beneficials. I, the cocksucker knows. <laughs> This is a nightmare man, and you're watching Zombie Takeover TV. Dollars <laughs> 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 make one of them out of your videotapes, and make them make a creature or something. Look at this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Freddy oh, lost shit. his <laughs> Now I know what she goes to. I broke a nail. <laughs> But that's all right. We'll just put it right back on there. That's fine. I, sh I go to so many of these goddamn gloves that ain't funny. She's always on it. Oh, time for another glove. All that killing. Yeah. I'll tell you what. It takes a toll on a man, you know. But the I'll get the super loose. glue out. We'll fix it when we get home. So that'll be fine. for knives. So uh, yeah. you're appearing at the the haunted, uh, what is it exactly? Yeah. It's the haunted, haunted trail. trail. Of horror. Yeah. On uh, 67 out here out of Kenton. Now is that uh is that uh I'm looking for something to take my boy to, but not to scare the complete shit out of him. Then you don't know? take him there then. Okay. And no. when I see little kids that come in, just like I was with doing Freddie all these years, I'll tone it down, and you know I'll, I'll be the hey I'm okay, you know the Walt Disney you know version <laughs> of uh, Freddy Krueger. Uh, just a spoonful of sugar, you know. <laughs> nightmare four, you nightmare yeah. four is yeah, five ish. Exactly. So you know it's like. Wow, they're bringing a lot of kids out there. Hey, real quick, I got uh, real quick, I got to do this. Uh, okay. Welcome to prime time, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> God, that has been building up inside of me. I had to let it out. I'm breaking the eardrum, tell me that. Oh, okay, okay. Jeez. All right, we won't do no more of that. Just like I do, Hannibal Lecter, uh, Dexter. I want to give him a bub face, a really good yeah, bub a face, because he does bub. an awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I love your book. No. All I want him to do is drop over, lady. <laughs> I'm not, Don't do it. No, I, I know you're, oh, you're so cool, Brewster. <laughs> I love that fucking movie. Welcome yeah. to Fright Night. <laughs> for real. Yeah, for real. I'm not oh, going to kill you, Charlie. I'm going to give you what I don't have. A choice. <laughs> Good you ever saw me. Oh. Awesome. So another yeah. uh, another amazing film you were also in, uh, Pulp Fiction. And yeah. That, that, that's being uh, released to the theaters again. Just on the 4th? Why are they released? Is it anniversary? I don't know. I don't know. I, right? I don't know. I do know that when the AFI did their, like, televised, like twenty greatest moments in Zoom, they um, started with my scene, oh, the Bonnie yeah. situation. Yeah, it's a... and the Bonnie, you know, from that moment on. Um, yeah, there's, you know, there's that movie was kind of magical in a lot of ways. Uh, now, what was a lot the... of stuff went down on that set. What was uh, <laughs> in the suitcase, actually? Yeah. That's my question. Nice. <laughs> yeah, oh, what was in a suitcase? Everybody yeah. asked me that. He told me. He told me that day. 
And I can't remember. I think he said it's like your heart's desire or something. Right. I thought it was Marcellus Wallace's uh, soul or something. Yeah, his right. soul. Or golden yeah. cock or something. Oh, gold. <laughs> no, it, was, it wasn't It was gold. He said it's not gold. He, I remember him saying that. But, like, um, I think he said it was, you know, it's very Wizard of Oz's. Yeah. Which is, you know, a little bit derivative of Wild at Heart, you know. David Lynch's. Oh, that movie is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, he did all that. <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Wow. So, any awesome stories from the set? Yeah, you you're talking about what was going on the set. What yeah. was going on on the set? Well, it was fun on the set. I did get a whole earful of John Travolta <laughs> oh, um, wow. at the time. At the time, it was, you know, RuPaul had just did her song, her first song. Mm -hmm. So, he was, he just, I couldn't, he wanted me to do it. He wanted me to act like RuPaul and march around. <laughs> but then I wouldn't do. I did it once, I think, and then he he um, asked you for a back continued massage. on. He was like Alexis, supermodel of the world, and he was just like he got all black and sassy, and and it was just really, really quite embarrassing. No, he was really sweet, and then that creepy. Oh, the guy talks like this. What's his name? Uh, Everything is where he, where I, you, me, together here. <laughs> I remember he he said to me like, "You're gorgeous." What's his name? Christopher Walken. Chris. Yeah, yeah, the murderer. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm just sorry. Right. I'm just kidding. Oh. No, he he gave her too many quaaludes. <laughs> and he fucked her. He fucked her husband. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And then when they heard splash and splash, nobody went uh, a looking. <laughs> no sploosh. No, he yeah. killed my Natalie Wood. Well, there you go. First, first uh, behind the scenes there on Pulp Fiction's uh, set. Some, yeah, yeah no, <laughs> other behind the scenes stuff. I was stupid when they were selling stuff. Because I didn't know what other props were using on the movie. But they had like a little area. They were like, okay, we're going to sell these off. These have been, you know, we're not shooting these anymore. And one of them was the fucking kangaroo watch oh, little holder. Man. Oh, man. The little with the ashtray. And I, I passed it up and I ended up buying like some stupid sconces and lighting and shit like that. I bet that, that they have there. But, but he, and also the boxer's um, portrait. Yeah, the portraits of boxers, uh, I guess, at the bar when he was like, hey, Punchy. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just, I, I, I did get the Venom that was supposedly in the movie, a little, like, comic book figurine of Venom. <laughs> I think it was in that drug dealer scene. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, when he went to the house. Eric. Uh, Stoltz. Yeah, no, it's, it, was a, it was a cool story. The thing was, for me... I got the job really only because, and he actually offered me <laughs> a gimp, this the gimp or, or this guy. I'm like, this guy is the guy. This is the dude. You want to be the, fo the fourth man or whatever he's called, my character's name. But, um, yeah, the gimp, nobody can see your face ever. What's the point? Uh, anyway, so Gross. she gets, she has me lay face down. I take my boxer shorts off because I still got them on. Because no. I'm still not sure how naked is naked. <laughs> All kind of boxer shorts on. Oh, they look like regular, like yeah. boxing. Oh, like, they didn't have like. They look like, uh, like bass. Rocky Balboa would have uh, wore to fight. Uh, the, oh, you were. Yeah, 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 it was like a real like a boxer shorts. Yeah. I agree, Ray. <laughs> how naked is too naked? Yeah. I mean, if you come in and your dick is out, yeah. I mean, she'd and be fully like, erect. I'm like, whoa, that's not what I meant. This guy's fucking weird. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, how you naked is you wanted to? You so, wanted to leave her. You wanted to let her in on the show. That's right. You wanted to give her a show. Yeah. I wanted to give her a show. So, all right, we slow down, slow down. This might take more than four minutes. Oh man, all right. Oh, yeah. So you left your boxers on, and right? I'm she sitting comes on the in. bed like this when she comes in. She comes she, in with this. Bikini she comes in right with away with this bikini. Like she was, she'd been gone like four or five minutes. And change. She and didn't change. have that on before. She didn't have it on before. She yeah. had like a regular sundress on. Jesus. And then so she's she's holding this plate too. There's all these oils on it. Ooh, oh, weird shit. She could have just took that plate and threw it right <laughs> yeah. out of her hands. <laughs> <laughs> she sat it down and then she she was like get naked. I I thought I said naked and I was like. 
All right. Yeah. So, she, so, so she really said it. That yeah. Time. Fucking so naked. I'm like, I got up and I pulled my boxer shorts oh, how off. How did you do that? I just kind of turned to the side. Oh, yeah. I know that that's my that's my best profile. So, so were you enlarged? Hold on, ladies. Were you enlarged at this point? No, because I was so nervous. Oh, so it's still was still flaccid, and you don't want her to be right. seeing. I don't that. want her to see that at all. Oh my I, god! Did you give her a little pull? So, well, well, once I laid down on those, she don't nervous right. or not? How yeah. do you control that? Thing. Well, here's what happened. I, I I laid down face down on the on the little oh. tiki bed, and she hasn't seen her. She hasn't yet. seen my wiener re- like unless she was staring real hard. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so she, uh, she so I'm laying down. She it. straddles me, takes the top off, so pulls it down. Straddles your back, like straddles my back. Takes right. her top off, rubs the oil on her tits as she's talking to me, and I'm laying like this. Talking to her. Oh my god. Over my shoulder. And she's like, You are you ready for this? And give me little (laughs) little weird like things and I'm like, Oh Oh, sure. So she starts to rub her tits on my back. Oh my god. And I'm like, Oh, this is awesome. And then so then now do you have hair on that back? Not not back then. I don't. No, I'm fucking thirty two years old. Of course, I got four hair. years. Hair sprouts yeah. all of a sudden. Yeah, it looks. I like, don't believe that, dude. I will show you after How this. How old is are like you? Thirty two. So at twenty eight, hair sprouted. Yeah, like and it's in my ears now too. It's fucking. So waiting beautiful. for you to have tits rubbed on your back and then hair sprouted. Well, not at that <laughs> moment. That's <laughs> so that's what it did. You can, I mean, I never noticed hair on my back. So if there was hair there, I never saw it it's until hair. recently. Now it's like a puff that's on my back. Well, that's a tumor. <laughs> oh, that's just a tumor? Right. Well, that's not right. a tumor. Cool. Okay, tits on the back. Keep so going. she starts going, blah, 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 talking, doing more of that stuff. I'm oh getting more God. and more, more re- like, I'm like, this is ridiculous. So I stop her in the middle of her conversation, and I'm like, listen, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. So your weenie yeah. at this point is it's, fucking... Yeah, it's ready to fight the And it's smashed up against a... Yeah, it's like pressed like yeah. all down because I'm laying <laughs> face down on the teak bed. Oh, my God. Like there's... <laughs> you can feel the teak sticking up, poking into it's you. It's like that a bamboo awful. bed? Yeah, it was like a bamboo bed with like, like covers over Jesus. it. Jesus. It was weird, dude. They should at least cut a hole in there so you could put your wiener in Yeah, there. and then somebody under there could have been drinking. <laughs> 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 he wants all kinds of freaky right. shit. No, so anyway, so, so I'm like, listen, I don't know what I'm doing at all. I, I'm like, I've never been to one of these places before. I don't, I, I just heard oh, about it. I'm man. like, so what do I do? What do I do for video? And she that? goes, she goes, well, what do you want? Do you just want to finish the massage or do you want the special? Oh, and I'm like, well, what's the special? Yeah. Like, are we going to have full on sex? Oh my God. I said it straight up and she's she like, said I said, she's like, gonna, whoa. she said, whoa, no, no, no. I just, uh, get you oh off. My God. Is what she said. And I was like, all right. Let's do that. And I was like, let's hurry this up, too, because I want to get back out of here. Wow. And she's like, all right. So I flip over, and then she did the old teats and rip, rip, rip. Really? <laughs> yeah. Shazam. Now, here's how I felt bef- right before. You banged her tits? She did. I didn't do anything. I laid oh, there like this. Because I mean, you're not allowed to touch her. Yeah, you're not allowed to touch her. I, they had cameras, I guarantee you. There's probably you video out there. <laughs> oh, we get jerked off by a French this. Canadian. Now, if you looked like Brad Pitt and, <laughs> and you said... What full on sex? I she think. would have said probably yeah. Okay, but I don't look like Brad Pitt. Yeah, I look That's like true. Brad Pitt's ugly younger brother, <laughs> Rad Pitt, <laughs> <laughs> and that was hit with a shovel and kept in a garage. <laughs> but anyways, Rad so Pitt. after that happens, right before I was like, oh, this is the best thing in my life. After oh my after it happened. I was ashamed and embarrassed. <laughs> I was collecting my clothes and apologizing. Now, how long? <laughs> and I ran out of that fucking place. Now, that's a bit personal, but how long did it take? Well, I, like I said, I was only probably in the room five or seven minutes. So, she... Whoa, whoa. So, she flipped you over. Yeah, and finished me because I, and I basically... And right to the wiener. We, we got past all that bullshit. Did she yeah. rub that she, your back at all? She, yeah, for like a minute or two Just until I started tits? like going, hey, what, whoa, hey, what? how far are we going to take this? <laughs> what happens yeah, next? Yeah, because massaging me gets me really Because this is the point when I'm with a lady and she's rubbing her tits on my back. Generally, I turn around and start to pound her. Oh, I don't want to do be oh, mid thrust and have the Mounties come in. Uh, ladies, <laughs> ladies, he will pound you. 
Did you massage him? He pounds. Oh. Pounds away. But you know what's funny is I tell this story. I think it's hilarious. <clears throat> I've told it a couple of times and not in this public of a forum. But <laughs> That's I've told right. it. Don't and, be ashamed. And people judge you. Like, no. like fuck, you know what? If you're going to judge me, any of you, fuck, fuck you. All right? <laughs> you go home, do your boring lives. All right? Sometimes some of us go out and need to get jerked off by a prostitute. <laughs> yeah. All right? I don't have your luxury. <laughs> All right, I go, I get a little extra money in my pocket. First thing that happens is I buy beer and then prostitutes. Prostitutes have been around for thousands of years. Yeah, and, don't judge uh, me, judges. <laughs> <laughs> Not you guys, but them. There's nothing wrong with it. If a, if a woman is, she looked like she was uh, in full control and it was up to her. Yeah, exactly. She wants to do that, then let her do it. Mm -hmm. I agree. Honestly, I'm I'm proud of you, and I'm glad that you brought us this story because yeah, it's fantastic. Crazy. And I think you should go out and get more hand jobs <laughs> yeah. from other people. And compare them. Don't just don't just <laughs> restrict it to massage parlors. Say you oh. think get, you them, get them from Taco Bell girls, whatever, <laughs> whatever it takes. Well, I want to hear stories from all of these jerk off stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty wild, Ray. Well, I, I'm a wild guy. Yeah, you asked. That's just one of a million things that's happened to me since so I. So you think it. if it happened again, you would be, you wouldn't be as nervous. No, this time around, I would have negotiated full on sex. <laughs> yes. Because no, I'm was not. that an option at all? Or? I don't know. I don't think it was for me with her. Yeah. But I think if I went out and complained, it was like, hey, I wanted to have full on sex. With you, <laughs> that somebody would have accommodated me. I well, to have full well, on we've sexual. got chubby Betty in the back. We're gonna go last door on the left. Here's a gift of seven dollars for anal. There you go. <laughs> they gotta have a back pen, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Did you look at her face at all at the time she was uh, whacking the old Johnson? <laughs> that's, <laughs> a, that's a personal question, but yes, I did. I was trying to steal her soul through her eyes, but, but she, it had already been taken. Did she appear to be enjoying it? <laughs> I mean, she wasn't really acting like she she enjoyed it as much as she was now, trying. Now gagging to, is uh, trying, uh, no, not no, enjoyment. No. She was trying to like please me by make noises, like, making oh, noises. Oh, she, was oh, she was like, eh, give it to eh, me. Did she say anything about being like big boy? That it was she like, call uh, you uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, she I was mean, doing. She that. had that weird accent, so yeah, it was what, like. And what did this girl look like? We haven't even said that. Uh, uh, she was the, tall where, with dark hair and dark eyes, and good looking or not. Yeah, she was pretty. Where, she wasn't gorgeous, where but she was pretty. Where did the load go? <laughs> yeah, where you nice at? one. <laughs> nice one. This is all very personal. Yeah, where did, oh, no. did she capture it? She did, yeah, she, she caught it like away. a fucking ninja and kept it in a glass case. Did she <laughs> aim it away? This no, it just, it just came up and hit her chin, oh. and then she was like, that what? was on her. Because I was underneath her, dude. Oh, at that time, she, you were doing her tits. Yeah, she was doing the... the that's how she got me off. Oh, I didn't know if she like hit it away or if she like loved it. No, she was just kind of like done, and then I rolled over to get off the bed because I had shot my load and I needed to get out of there. Wow. The shame washed over me. Yeah. But don't judge me, but the shame. <laughs> there was shame. Oh my God. <laughs> See, I don't think I would be... Uh... <clears throat> I would be too self-conscious to do that. I would be too... I well, I didn't it. care because I was paying her. Was she going to tell me no? I would be like, yeah. I demand my $80 Canadian back, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Stay with the basics. Yeah, exactly. Bella Lugosi. Thanks. Yes. Uh, somebody about Karloff. Uh, Boris Karloff. Boris. Boris. Yeah. Lon Good Chaney. Oh, Lon Chaney Jr. Ooh. Ooh, Junior. Didn't you say you were? Damn, he was a dog. God damn dog. God damn dog. Yeah, I'm a dog. Yeah, I'm a dog. You're a dog! <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's told this story many times. Frankie gonna kick out. But anyways, he's a superhero. He has toxic gas that'll fucking annihilate, kill anything that's within a true. ten mile. That, that's true. You're, you're lucky because I ate watermelon today, and it just oh, it, it so just so cleaned so me up. Oh, oh my god! But Jeff ate beans. Oh my god! Don't do it. 
Ai, <laughs> det är But anyways, please tell this story. And PETA, do not call me. Do not uh, do not email me. Where are we going? <laughs> there was no animals hurt in the process of this fucking... Uh, it's uh, what is it? What did you say? I, I went, you I went and stayed you. with my... <laughs> My uh, uncle Bill, and my aunt, and oh, uh, one day that, oh, or one morning they were yes. they were going to work, and uh, their poodle dog Trudy yeah. always liked to snuggle up. Yeah, I know those dogs <laughs> where you sleep and they get but up in your she, fucking shit. Yeah, and but this one likes to get underneath the blankets. So, I was not there. <laughs> not so, there. The dog, I you know, hope not when you lay in bed with him. Uh, you know, no way. <laughs> So it's you two and this poodle. No, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. Right. So I'm laying there and, and I'm laying on my side and the dog sniggles right up to my ass. Yeah, I'm still on my side. There should be some kind of alarm. You know, I'm still on my first. You know, and I really didn't. And I really didn't like I'm the dog. I'm on my first. I really <laughs> liked my dog or didn't like this dog, so I farted. Oh, <laughs> and I'm God. laying there. And next thing I hear this. And I roll over and she's puking in between my hands. You were fucking the dog. Let me picture this dog. It's 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 hair's cut like a lion, right? It's got these little fucking hair paws and it's fucking rat face sticking out. Yeah. And it's just, oh my god. And, and it's this orange shit flying out. <laughs> that, that is called rust. <laughs> oh, this is uh, yeah, that poor animal. I mean, it had yeah. to be trouble to its lungs. Uh, oh, and I got up, made sure she was all right, and got the, <laughs> got the blankets and everything off the bed and wore some so my aunt wouldn't know because I knew she'd be asking what happened. How do you tell that story? How do you tell that I made your dog sick? I farted on it. <laughs> wow. We had another occurrence. Uh, um we went to the pizza place, me, him, and Jeff, and I took my boy. Cause, <laughs> yeah. And so we eat our pizza well, on the way home. Like he fucking, fucking he's got the like windows up. It's hot that day. It, it was hot as fuck that day. Uh, yeah, it was one well, of the hottest days. So we had the windows up. And degrees. Air he fucking farted. And let me tell you what, I started uh, to puke. I was gagging. I was going, oh. <laughs> he sat in the back of the room. I have my fucking head out the window, and then my boy starts. And I, he's never experienced any oh, kind yeah. of shit like this. And I, hear, and, him. and I hear this tiny voice say, "Dad, what's that? What does that a smell?" smell. <laughs> Here, I don't know. What to, I don't know how to explain it to him. That well, it's it's fecal matter that this guy just shot all over in the taste air. It. It, it's, it's better taste buds. And they were eating ice cream. Oh. Oh. Complex ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Does he like I ice cream? I, had, I think yeah. I had butternut. It tastes like you had motor nut. Shit nut. Shit nut. Shit nut. Shit nut. Shit nut. <laughs>
good. Once you go beef, you never go back. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try it out. I'm going to try it out. Beef, pork, chicken, what's the other one? Turkey. Turkey. I like them all. I don't put them all in one. These are a bit of a real grill in there. I already like the beef. Of all the meats. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got over there smoking dogs. Old beef and then the most of the meats. Chicken, pork, turkey, ostrich, salamander, lips and assholes. Look at that bark. You ever tried those Nathan skinless franks? They probably lost thirty yeah. percent. Yeah. These things are huge. Come on, pull it if you want to. Yeah. yeah. That's done. That, oh, it's done? It's, I got a cooler over there. Oh, yeah. Wrap, triple wrapped in, bit, in foil, then wrapped in a towel inside a cooler. And that technique is uh, for... Oh, it, helps, it helps with tenderness. Keeps the juices in. Allows the juice to re distribute. <laughs> Sauce? Yes, it did. New sauce. New sauce. We got hickory. We're good. New one. Talking right now. Hickory and Carolinas. Okay, that's not ketchup. You know. <laughs>